Hey, what's up guys? This is Mark from Spantacular.com. Right now you're looking at the LG Optimus S, soon to be released on the Sprint Network. And we're going to do a quick hands-on and talk about the phone a little bit. Now the Optimus S is an entry-level Android 2.2 device, or Froyo as some people might better know it. And um, let's take a look. So you've got a about a 3.2 inch display here. You've got physical buttons there for input. There's your home button, there's your menu button, there's your return arrow, there's your search button for Google, there's your on-screen keypad. It's nothing fancy, it's a stock Android keypad. There's no swipe or anything like that. And we'll go back. There's audio rocker for sound, speakerphone button there, dedicated shutter button for your camera. Speaking of cameras, you've got a 3.2 megapixel camera, no flash, and there's a speaker phone for those speaker phone calls from the car, 3.5 audio head jack, uh, on and off button, and really neat part is a external micro SD card slot. So no having to yank the battery out of the phone or pry anything off to get to your memory cards right there on the outside. So that's a nice touch. Oh, and also, Got a got a uh, micro USB slot there for charging and exchanging data. So with that said, let's talk about the device. As I mentioned earlier, it's a Froyo Android 2.2 handset. As you can see, it runs live wallpapers. Uh, does pretty much everything a standard Froyo handset does, with one major exception. This being a entry level Android device and it's powered by a 600 megahertz processor, uh, does not run Flash. It does just about everything else from my knowledge, but it's just not doing flash. Perhaps there'll be some type of patch or update along the way that'll enable flash support for this device. But due to the hardware restrictions, it might not run smoothly, so I think that's why they take it out. Um, another thing is, this is one of the new Sprint ID phones. You can see that here. Go ahead and tap that. If you've seen some of my previous videos here, uh, Sprint ID is a pre-themed software pack that's kind of set for whatever you're trying to do. So there's a business pack, a social network pack, a sports fan pack. They're just preloaded software packs with specific applications for whatever you're trying to do and whatever your needs may be. So we've got the business pro one installed here. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. Just give you guys who haven't seen Sprint ID in action a look. So as you can see, it's a completely different software pack here. It's got a major, it's got a large clock here. It's got your calendar there, and it's got weather bug and different things installed for me to set up. It's a nice touch, um, but other than that, when it comes to the phone being a regular phone and not a smartphone per se, it, it, the call quality is pretty good. Place to call on it, uh, it's running off of Sprint's 3G network, so you get solid call quality. If you got Sprint in the area and the coverage is, coverage is solid, you already know what to expect. Uh, it's going to be priced at 50 bucks after mail-in rebates. That's a very good price, very competitively priced. If you've got a teen in the house or somebody who's new to smartphones, they want to give Android a shot, this might be something you want to consider. But with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns about the phone, feel free to leave a comment or a question, and I'll be glad to help you out the best I can. With that said, this is Mark from Spantecular.com. Thanks for stopping by.